Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for financial risk management. So, let's get started. Question number one, what is the asset and liability management method in banks? The answer is, asset and liability management is a method employed by financial institutions to alleviate financial risks emerging from a mismatch of liabilities and assets. It is typically applied to bank loan portfolios and pension plans. It also involves the economic value of equity. Question number two, what are the main financial risks? The answer is, there are five main types of financial risk. First, market risk. Second, credit risk. Third, liquidity risk. Fourth, legal risk. Fifth, operational risk. Question number three, what is the purpose of the leverage ratio? The answer is, a leverage ratio is any one of several financial measurements that assesses the ability of a company to meet its financial obligations. Some of the common leverage ratios include the debt equity ratio, equity multiplier, degree of financial leverage, and consumer leverage ratio. Question number four, what are the steps of the financial risk management process? The answer is, the steps of the financial risk management process are, firstly, identify the risk. Secondly, analyze the risk. Then, prioritize the risk. Next, treat the risk. Lastly, monitor the risk. Question number 5, which financial products may have exposure to LIBOR? The answer is, LIBOR is linked to a wide range of financial products, including floating rate notes and bonds, including corporate bonds, adjustable rate mortgage-backed securities, structured products, margin loans, securities-based lines of credit or IA loans, syndicated loans, small business loans, commercial real estate loans, other bank loans, or floating rate loans, adjustable rate mortgages, derivatives, including interest rate swaps. Question number six, what is financial risk? The answer is, financial risk is the probability of dissipating money on a purchase or business enterprise. Some more general and different financial risks involve liquidity risk, credit risk, and operational risk. It is a sort of danger that can occur in the failure of capital to interested parties. Question number 7. What do you mean by a single counterparty exposure limit? The answer is. The single counterparty exposure limit is a non-risk adjusted backstop means to guarantee that vulnerabilities to a single counterparty or a group of combined counterparties are within a careful limit at all times. Question number 8. What is the purpose of Pillar 3 of Basel 2? The answer is. The purpose of Pillar 3 is to provide market discipline to work by requiring institutions to reveal details on the field of application, risk exposures, capital, risk assessment methods, and the capital sufficiency of the institution. Question number 9, what do you mean by counterparty credit exposure? The answer is, counterparty credit exposure is a ratio of the amount that would be missed in the situation that a counterparty to a financial contract defaults. Only contracts that are secretly negotiated among counterparties, that is over-the-counter derivatives, are subjected to counterparty credit risk. Question number 10. What is exposure at default? The answer is. Exposure at default is a parameter used in the calculation of economic capital or regulatory capital under Basel II for a banking institution. It can be defined as the gross exposure under a facility upon default of an obligor. Question number 11. What are the principal types of risk management? The answer is, types of risk management are Inflation risk Longevity risk Interest rate risk Liquidity risk Market risk Opportunity risk Tax risk Question number 12. What is the distinction between credit risk and counterparty risk? The answer is Credit risk is the prospect of operating a risky bond. Whereas, Counterparty risk is the danger that the counterparty will not be capable to satisfy its contractual commitments if the credit event occurs. Question number 13. How do you recognize financial risks? The answer is. To recognize financial risk, analyze the daily financial transactions, particularly cash flow. Operational risks are connected to the company's executive and operational methods ranging from the IT systems to regulations to recruitment. Question number 14. What are the three ways to risk management? The answer is, each process is divided into one of the three general categories that we practice to incorporate risk management practices which are Operational hedging Access to external finance 
and financial hedging with derivatives. Question number 15. What are the elements of risk management? The answer is, elements of risk management are risk measurement, risk identification and assessment, risk reporting and monitoring, risk mitigation, risk governance. Question number 16. What is the counterparty credit limit? The answer is, a counterparty credit limit is a limit imposed by a financial institution to cap its maximum possible exposure to a specified counterparty. Question number 17. What do you mean by market risk? The answer is, market risk is the probability that a person or other entity will encounter losses due to circumstances that affect the whole appearance of investments in the financial markets. Question number 18. Which is the most affordable source of finance? The answer is, debentures are the most affordable source of finance, as it can quickly be converted into shares as of the lower rate and fixed interest is presented irrespective of profit. Debt is the cheapest source of finance as correlated to equity. Question number 19, how is PFE anticipated? The answer is, PFE is a division of counterparty risk or credit risk. It is estimated by measuring surviving trades done against the reasonable market prices in the future during the existence of transactions. It can be called the sensitivity of risk with respect to market prices. Question number 20, what is counterparty credit exposure? The answer is, Counterparty credit exposure is a ratio of the amount that would be missed in the situation that a counterparty to a financial contract defaults. Only contracts that are secretly negotiated among counterparties, that is over-the-counter derivatives, are subjected to counterparty credit risk. Question number 21. What is an advanced internal ratings-based method? The answer is. An advanced internal rating-based access to credit risk analysis is an arrangement that demands that all risk elements be calculated within a financial institution. Advanced internal rating-based can accommodate an institution to reduce its capital conditions and credit risk. Question number 22. What does the Basel Committee do? The answer is. The Basel Committee on Banking Supervision is the original global standard setter for the prudential supervision of banks and gives a forum for legitimate agreement on banking supervisory concerns. Its 45 members involve central banks and bank executives from 28 jurisdictions. Question number 23. Why do we require a regulatory framework? The answer is. A regulatory framework for the arrangement of financial statements is essential to guarantee that the obligations of the users of financial announcements are met with at least a primary minimum of information. Also, to enhance users' determination in the financial reporting method. Question number 24. How do you create a bull spread? The answer is. A bull put spread is created by trading higher striking in the money put options and purchasing the same number of lower outstanding out of the money put options on the identical underlying safety with the same expiration date. Question number 25. What is theta neutral strategy? The answer is. Market neutral policies receive a profit when time moves and the magic of time decay, theta, does its job. The wonderful characteristic of these versatile option policies is that they can be practiced by the bullish or bearish investor as well as by the market neutral trader. Question number 26. What is the tolerable risk? The answer is. A level of risk is deemed adequate by society in order that some appropriate benefit or functionality can be achieved, but in the theory that the risk has been assessed and is being maintained. Question number 27. What are the operational risks in banking? The answer is. Operational risk has been established by the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision as the opportunity of loss occurring from incompetent or failed internal methods, people, and systems or from outside events. Question number 28. How do you resolve operational risk? The answer is, steps to resolve operational risk. Step 1. Managing equipment malfunctions. Step 2. Keep safe business-to-business -business relationships. Step 3. Having enough insurance. Step 4. Know the regulations. Question number 29. How do bankers manage interest rate risks? The answer is, there are two ways in which a bank can accomplish its interest rate risks. By balancing the maturity and repricing terms of its assets and liabilities. And, by employing in derivatives transactions. Question number 30. What is replacement cost risk? The answer is. The risk of loss of unrealized earnings on complex transactions with a counterparty. The resulting appearance is the cost of substituting the original transaction at current market prices. 
For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.